In this video, we shall discuss on the expectation and variance for the moment generating function. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. We'll be handling that of the Bernoulli distribution. We should recall that the moment generating function for the Bernoulli distribution is written as Q plus P E T raised to the power of N. Now, we have to find the expectation of X. That means the first derivative. The expectation of X is equal to the first derivative of the moment generating function at T equal to zero. So it means that our expected value of x is equal to the first derivative of this function. So we use what is called the function of a function method of differentiation to differentiate this at t is equal to zero. So this, if we differentiate this function, we have n into q plus p e t raised to the power of n minus 1, multiplied by what is inside. We differentiate this function, so we get p e t. So this is the first derivative. But at t equal to 0, we have our expectation of x, which is the first derivative at t equal to 0. We have n multiplied by Q plus P E T, that means this T will turn to 0, N minus 1, multiplied by P E, anywhere we see T, we put 0. So we move over to this other side to obtain our expectation of X. This, our expectation of X is the same thing as the first derivative for the moment generating function. So we have our expectation of X to be equal to n into q plus p raised to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by p. Since anything raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We should also note that from probability distribution that q plus p is equal to 1 or p plus q is equal to 1. So it then means that our expectation of x is equal to n into 1 raised to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by p, which is equal to np. So it then means that, therefore, our expected value of x is equal to np. So this is how we can easily get the expectation of x or the first derivative for the moment generating function for the Bernoulli distribution. So we have our expected value of x to be mp. The next thing to find is the expectation of x squared. The expectation of x squared is equal to the second derivative for the moment generating function at t is equal to 0. That means the second derivative. What are we differentiating? We we'll differentiate this. We we'll differentiate this this time because this is the first derivative. If we are finding the second derivative, we have to um, differentiate this function. So, how do we differentiate this function? We we'll first write it out. We we'll recall that The fourth derivative for the moment generating function gives n into q plus p e t raised to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by p e t. So we use what is called the product rule of differentiation to differentiate this. It then means that the whole of this will take it to be u, and the whole of this will take it to be v. It then means that our expected value of x squared, which is the second derivative 
for the moment generating function is u the v all over the t because we are differentiating with respect to t plus v the u all over the t so we differentiate it with respect to t we'll come over to this side For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Now, we have this as our u and this is our v. So, our expected value of x squared, the expected value of x squared, which is also equal to the second derivative for the moment generating function, is equal to is equal to we have u u is n into q plus p e t into n minus one multiplied by the v all over the t the v all over the t into p e t if we differentiate P E T will get the same thing because this is an exponential function. Plus, when I have V, V is P E T, we bring it out, multiply by the U all over the T, we differentiate is the U all over the T. So if we differentiate that, we'll get N into multiplied by N into N minus 1 into q plus p e t raised to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 which is minus 2 we have succeeded in differentiating this multiplied by we differentiate what is inside which is p e t if we differentiate this with respect to t we get p e t so this is what we we'll get as our expected value of x which is the second derivative. The next thing to do is to put it at t equal to zero. We have our expected value of x to be equal to, and here we see t, we put zero. We have n into q plus p, e raised to the power of zero, raised to the power of n minus one, multiplied by p e raised to the power of 0 plus p e raised to the power of 0 into n n minus 1 multiplied by q plus p e raised to the power of 0 n minus 2 multiplied by p e raised to the power of 0. Of course, we know that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. And we also know that q plus p is one say but e raised to the power of zero is equal to one so we have our expected value of x squared sorry our expected value of x squared to be equal to n into q plus p raised to the power of n minus one multiplied by p plus P multiplied by n into n minus 1 into q plus p raised to the power of n minus 2 multiplied by p. We we'll say both q plus p is equal to 1 from probability distribution. So we also move over to this other side of the board. If we move over to this side, other side of the board, we have to delete this. We should note that the expected value of x is equal to mp because we we'll recall this when we are looking for our variance. So I'm deleting it.
So we have our expected value of x squared. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Expected value of x squared to be equal to, and here we we'll see q plus p, we we'll put 1. So we we'll have n into 1 raised to the power of n minus 1 multiplied by p plus p multiplied by n into n minus 1 into 1, which is q plus p raised to the power of n minus 2. Multiplied by p. So of course we we'll have one raised to the power of this is n p plus p multiplied by p is p squared. So we we'll have n into n minus one p squared. So this is our expected value of x squared. This is what we we'll get. The next thing to do is to look for our variance. How do we obtain our variance? Is the next thing to do. So we come here to say, we we'll recall that our variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x all squared. So this is how we can obtain our variance. Of course, we should note that we have we are the expected value of x is equal to np, which we got, and the expected value of x squared is equal to np plus n into n minus 1 p squared. So this is what we we'll get. The next thing to do is to see how we we'll put it together into the variance formula. So it then means that our variance of x is equal to the our expected value of x squared is np plus n into n minus 1 p squared minus our expected value of x, which is np squared. So we we'll have it as np plus n into n minus 1 p squared minus n squared p squared. So this is our variance of x. The next thing to do is to solve it mathematically. We'll also come over to this place. We'll come over to this place. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. For more tutorials, or for more videos on moment generating function. Ah. We can also open this. So our variance of x is equal to n squared minus n to p squared minus, of course, np can go into n squared p squared. So this one will go here and here to give us minus np. So we also have here as n squared p squared minus n p squared minus n p. Of course, this, this will go into this. So half n p into minus n p 
squared, which is also our variance of x. So if we watch that, we'll have something that is common here, which is mp. So we can bring out mp, n, p to be equal to one minus p which is also our variance of x we should recall that if we recall that but p plus q is equal to one which implies that q is equal to one minus p so it then means that our variance of x is equal to n p since q is equal to one minus p this is one minus p so we have this as q so our variance is equal to n p q we also have our expected value of x to be np and our expected value of x squared to be np plus n into n minus 1 multiplied by p squared so this is how we can obtain the variance for the moment generating function of the bernoulli distribution for more on this topic you need to subscribe to this channel from this we have succeeded in obtaining the expectation for the bernoulli distribution for the moment generating function we have also succeeded in obtaining the variance of the Bernoulli distribution of the moment generating function.